I mean, I've had no problem telling you like, hey, yeah, we didn't hit the $2 million. Let's just go ahead and put it out. If that were the case, I'd just tell you. I'd just be like, yeah, that was, we just wanted to do it. So we said, fuck it, put it out. But no, there are two, and I've already said this publicly, so I'm not NDA in myself. There are two other statues slash toys that are at that stage. This stuff takes a long time. So they're at the stage of, okay, let's green light it and let's really start to make this happen with getting prototypes. So everything's been done up until there. There are two other statues. One is of Yaira. One is of Yaira. So there's an additional one that we're sitting on. And there's another one that is, uh, I'm not going to NDA myself on that one. But like I've said, bros, this these last five to six months have been life altering. I'm I'm a bit of a when it comes to the business, I have to be this way. I don't think stubborn is the proper term, but there's a way that I envision that this needs to go. So every deal partnership that I enter in has to meet a set of requirements. Those requirements being I maintain full creative and financial control over whatever the hell is a, a rip reverse branded thing, whatever it is. I'm the final say, and I'm the one that is dealing with the finances, okay? Now, not everybody's with that, of course. Um, so we got to make sure that whoever we enter in partnerships with, it needs to make sense for us. And the ones that are no-brainers, we go for it. And McFarlane Toys was a fucking no-brainer, right? It, it's just one of the biggest in the business. Why wouldn't I do this, right? Um, the fact that they were even like, let's like, we were on their radar because I think that's another thing that needs to be understood with this is like, this was an internal thing with them. Like we, and I'm not going to just go all in the detail, but th this, let's just say the first move was made by McFarlane to us. And I want to give a big shout out to them for just planting the seed. And then it like started as I ah, were just kicking ideas back and forth. Well, is this anything going to happen? And then it got to a point to where, it, you know, executives are getting involved and they're all on, on both sides. And that's starting to become more real. Like, oh, we, we're about to really do this shit, huh? And then it was like, OK, this is a no brainer. Everybody, it made sense for everybody that was involved. So let's just do it. But I'm sitting on two two other statues, bros. Two other ones, right? And we're a very transparent company. Probably uh, some people, I've done interviews with people, and some people have just flat out told me to my face and said, you're a little too transparent. But there is a lot that you guys don't see. There's always stuff brewing, right? Just because you don't see it don't mean that ain't, I, I ain't back there you know, most of my time, this is my job, right? As a as president, CEO, whatever, owner. That's is my primary job. Business expansion, business expansion. And it was one thing that I am savvy on. It's that. So I'm always, I'm having every day, quite literally every day, I'm having some conversation about expanding this company in some form, shape. And not every time, not all the time does it make sense. Like I said, I've turned down, guys, a lot of fucking money, bros. I'm not joking. I have turned down a lot of money because it just wasn't terms that I wanted to agree with. Like, it's like, sometimes it's a give. It's like you got to give up certain rights. You got to, I don't want to do any of that. And um, I don't. So this one, though, made all the sense in the world, and I just cannot wait for you guys to see what else we got planned. It's funny. I was talking to um, talking to the team this past uh, weekend or going into Friday, actually, um, and, like, everybody's ready, bro, like, to do more stuff. So there will be other opportunities. I know a lot of people are asking for fully articulate toys and, and stuff like that. All that's on the way, bro. All that's on the way. But go grab this. And this, I also want to say this, okay? 
So with this resin statue, six scale, by the way, almost uh, 13 inches tall. And, okay, we're looking at trying to get one of the buy now, pay later options activated on our on our site. Um, maybe next week, this upcoming week, that will happen. So you'll have an option for those of you that, because it's 500 bucks, okay? Like, we all know that ain't fucking cheap. Um, but that will be an option for you guys. Uh, the, the ones that the big ones that are out there, like, uh, was Clarina and Affirm and, and, uh, Afterpay and shit like that. Anything but fucking PayPal, right? Obviously, that's not an option. We won't be doing that. Uh, what's the other one? Sezzle is another one that's, uh, growing very fast. So there's a lot of buy now, pay later options. And I know there's people that are like, hey, man, if you can get that active on your site, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting in. So we're we're, we're going to get that ready. We wanted to have it ready by the weekend. Unfortunately, we could not make that happen. It was nobody's fault. It's something that I should have considered. Um, so we've already laid the foundation and hopefully we have something active next week. OK, um, so. You'll be able to like do like a hey paying for or whatever. So because I know some of y'all might not want to drop that immediately, but I will say that a lot of these are going quick. Um, like I was not expecting to sell like almost two hundred after the first day and some change. It's kind of crazy. Uh, like that's kind of nuts. This starts shipping. We you know we do believe that we're going to be able to get it out by Q four, but we wanted to give ourselves a, some cushion because you never know with this, these types of things. So uh, we're talking Q one. Uh, of 2025 at the latest. I see my man's never Roddy Gary's in the chat with 100 bucks. Says, hell! Shout out, Gary. Shout out. I'm clip, clip, and snip, snip.